What's going on YouTube? We got Team Inspire here and we're with our boy Aaron. How you doing, man? Doing well. Uh, first event in a while, so it feels nice to come out and do well. Yeah, man. How was your tournament overall experience? Uh, smooth as always. Epic runs very good regionals um, and obviously yeah, they perform well, so I can't ask for more. Yeah, they do, man. Any um, any matchups that came up or just pretty mundane and yeah, cookie cutter? Yeah, pretty chill day. I uh, didn't play too many mirrors or 10 fire. Those overall just like a bunch of like cool decks that yeah. I think are just like underpowered in format. Awesome, man. Well, let's see what you played. Yeah, so I played Fire King Snake Eye. Uh, just, these are all normal one of. Uh, this is because of the new Ulfenix. Right. Um, this card was very good for me today. Uh, fantastic. It just guarantees that you get to end with Kieran in hand. Uh, and that just layers everything so much better like if, if you don't get soul release like you have like three to four different layers of interruption in graveyard uh, yeah. including like self like sanctuary which yeah, it's is insane. pretty common now yeah um i would play the third tier moving forward um potentially third all connects but like definitely the third tier. Like, what was kind of the um reasoning behind the two going into the event i copied the list the morning of and <laughs> I, I, all right I didn't build it myself. fair enough fair yeah, enough and then island sanctuary uh there's cards you need to play yeah uh, and then I maxed out on all of the engine. I did not play Oak because okay. these cards all were just kind of there to like push these cards through. Sure. So as long as the, the Fire King engine was working, I was winning. So everything else that I played was just kind of there to bait out the hand traps sure. in between. Uh, and then these cards as well. So do you like um, three Deception? I know I a lot of people are playing. I haven't any issues with it. Um, okay. I side down on just like stuff like this both side. Uh, one sure. for one as well. Sure. Um, like just if you're controlled like Retaliating C and just like they're like card economy wise, it can be a bit yeah. expensive. Uh, but overall, I didn't have any issues with them game one, and I it overall didn't really break, so I can't complain. Yeah, fair enough. And then non-engine Polaris, uh, this card was very good. Um, yeah, specifically this in this deck, where like if you, you just want engine cards in your hand, um, so as long as like if your deck requires non-engine to function like the Fierce Snake Eye deck, this is probably not the best option for you. Yeah. But in my deck, where I like if I just draw seven cards, <laughs> like I'm probably gonna kill it. It's probably cracked. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't need, like these were all very good, but they were just like if I play more Polaris and more Impulse, like I would just win. How was Impulse this today? Deck. This is my first event with it. I knew it was going to be good. I didn't really be that good. Like, yeah, it's... He's beat every deck. That um, card is just And crap. it plays around tactics, too, which is, like, silly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, 43-card uh, main deck, if I remember correctly. Awesome. Um, extra deck. Sure. Um, this... We'll put that back there. Um, sure. IP, SP, Sunlight Wolf. This card is, like, maybe not necessary, um, but... Do you like it today? It was something I was comfortable with, um, just, like, being able to add back Ash Blossom, add back here, and, like, I knew the lines with this, like, a little bit more comfortably because I played Fire King, whatever, six, yeah. seven months ago. Um... Dark Hita. I wasn't sure about playing these, but uh, so this is like Zombie Vampire that I had to return. Mm -hmm. This card was fucking... How cracked was saying, Zombie Vampire, I bro? I, I almost didn't play it. I was going to play Ho Arbiter, and yeah. then I just got convinced like, just play it, and it's his list. I'm like, alright, I trust you. And it was, <laughs> I summoned it like twice round one, and like at least once every round after. Like The card was game-breaking. Um, it was really good. Uh, it just gives you bodies, and yeah. it just, yeah, I don't know. Not much to say. It was very yeah. good for me. Uh, Phoenix, Promethean, Zalantis, all these like just generic cards. Um, yeah, everything was summoned at least once, and they're all yeah. good. And then extra deck, these two, uh, you play both of them oh for this kind of stuff. Engine's crazy. Yeah, very good cards. And then I played Fucho. Uh, I actually didn't summon it. You could maybe argue to not play it, but like I think in a, an event where you expect a lot of tempo, this right, is, I have, it's just very good. Yeah. And then uh, Grunich just like for Sanctuary. Yeah. Um, that come up at all today? I summoned it maybe once or twice, okay. but in general, like it wasn't too necessary. Sure. Too, too proud of I was still playing with the board. Sure. Uh, Fucho would definitely be like a spot that I like, I don't know if I need to play yeah. it, but if, you're, if you want something else, that's the spot. Yeah. Fantasme. Uh, How'd you like this? I didn't play Parolia because I didn't have any, um, but this card performed okay. Um, yeah. Based on my spread, it wasn't actually too impactful, but like when I drew it, it was good. Um, it got Ash, but it forced an Ash out, so my plays were able to as well. Um, so I can't ask for much more. Mm -hmm. um, I see the next card. Yeah, I don't think Parolia would have been What's up with better. this? Uh, so this was, I just copied this from the YCS in Niagara. Uh, yep. The card was very good for me. Uh, yeah, I didn't play many as a mini deck, so it didn't come in too often. But when it did, I drew it once. It won me the game, like on yeah. the spot. Uh, I don't know how I feel about moving forward, just because like it kind of conflicts with the Fire King deck. Like, what would you maybe swap it out with? Um, you know, I was considering something like Crow, maybe like Cosmic Cyclone. Like, okay. I don't know if exactly, but this is like definitely the most impactful card in the yeah. spot. Um, and like, I didn't didn't want to think too much on the mirror. Like, I didn't think I'd play it too well, just because like first timing the deck. Yeah. But like, if I draw this, like the mirror just should be pretty free. Kind um, of free. So that was kind of the goal. Yeah. Uh, then three thrust. This card was very good. It just like feels the role of going a first, going first, and going oh, second yeah, card. Oh yeah, hands down. Yeah, because you play. Uh, what were your little, targets? So these and tactics. Ooh. Thrust. The, the tactics like I haven't seen everyone play, but like obviously it's a very good card. But um, the main thing is like I have someone if I got retaliating seed, I wanted to have like a way to take it and just, yeah. like, not deal with it. Uh, then two barrier D to G. Uh, this is just for mirror, and then like obviously to play and like whatever ritual beast other dumb stuff today to yeah. against. And then uh, Call by the Grave for the Mulches and Shifter and then Scavern. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, just more ways to play through other cards or like whatever, Floodgates, Chaos Angel, just like really dumb stuff that your engine can't help. Yeah, man. I mean, Aaron, congrats. Congrats again, man. I mean, any shout outs or anything that you want to speak on? Yeah, so definitely Epic Cards and Games as always. Uh, ran fantastic events. And uh, Sako again for the list. And my friend Troy in Austin, who gave me the, the entire deck like Wednesday. So big, big shout out to him. And shout thank out. you again to everyone for the support. Hey, this is Team Aspire signing out. Good.